All right, hey, good morning, folks. Jesse with Southern Rose Fishing. I'll tell you, it has been an interesting morning for me. I actually had plans on going fishing another location, and upon arriving there, I was informed that the nature preserve was actually closed today for a duck hunt. So, I mean, on the drive back home, I had two options, either go home and do some homework and hang out around the house today, or, you know, stop by the uh, Elizabeth River here and, you know, do some striper fishing. I decided to stop and at least try this for a few hours. So I'm gonna get out here and pedal around and do some trolling and stuff and check out this general area here also it'll give me a chance to uh, try out my new sonar that i have down here some more check out the live scope on it and see you know if it helps with striper fishing and what it can show me and that's what's going on i'm gonna get rigged up with what i got i actually have a dedicated striper box and i didn't bring it because i wasn't counting on striper fishing today so anyway i do have some jig heads and all soft plastic so i think we'll be good i don't know let's see what we can get into all right, folks, I've been trolling for a while. I hadn't had a bite. I think I'm gonna drop this fan optics dealy here down and try it out. Let's see what it shows me up in here. Lock that down. So now I can actually turn it, which is awesome. Throw the power on to it. Wait a few seconds for it to boot up. That should pop up here on the main menu. All right, there we go, pan optics. Click that. And we are scanning. All right, folks, here we go. I have spotted much larger marks on the sonar, as you can see right there, almost directly below me. So I'm gonna try sight jigging them. As you can see, I'm right there beside them. He's looking at it right now. Sight casted this one. Dropped it right on his head. Look at that. This striper down there. Heck yeah, holy moly, this is awesome. Look, there's more down there too. See, that's what I saw. Dropped it down and he took it. Hot pink gold, 3 8 ounce jig head. Man, nice little striper. Heck yeah. That makes me happy right there. With this. He is, well, 21 inches. Hmm. Awesome. Oh, come back. I got that leash. I thought that's what I was seeing down there. Tried a couple different lures and finally found one that he took, which is the pink gold. All right, guys, I got a fish here. I'm by himself. I think it might be a striper. There he is. See him? That's a nice one, too. There he comes. Y'all can see that. It's a striper. Yeah. Now that's cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. I just saw him playing his day. Take it. Well, oh, I don't care if he got off. That is incredible, y'all. I, I cannot just explain how amazing this sonar is. I'm just pedaling along. I'm like, oh, that looks like a striper. Long and skinny. Maybe it is. Let's try. And sure enough. All right, y'all. This has been fun so far. Pretty much just been trolling around out here, scanning. And I see the big fish on the bottom just kind of swimming and kind of hone in on them. And I can literally drop the lure right down on their head. That's pretty much all I did. And literally saw them swim right up to it and take it. I'm going to go check out this other bank and work my way up here, maybe towards this bridge. Uh, hopefully, I can find more of them. It seems I'm just seeing one here and there. I'm kind of wanting to find a school of them. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do now. That is crazy, y'all. Look at all of those fish. And my jig is right in the middle of them. Whatever they are, they're not paying at any mind whatsoever. That's my jig right there going up and down. Right in the middle of the school. I don't know what they are, but they don't want what I'm offering. Yeah, hey folks. Well, I've had some fun, man, playing around with this sonar here for sure. It is really crazy how many fish are actually in these bodies of water. You don't even realize it. And be it they're not biting or whatever reason that they're not hitting your presentation. But it's good to know that they're there. And that really helps instill some confidence in your fishing. 
these are fish that you can't see on other traditional sonar systems. It's crazy. It's like all of those fish back over that way. I mean, thousands of them just suspended in large schools at 20 feet and not biting anything. I was beating them in the head with all kinds of stuff. They wouldn't touch it. My best guess is they're trout and it's just too cold. Anyway, I'm making a little run up here. I'm gonna try another cove for a little bit. Anyway, that's what's up. Well, folks, I pedaled all the way down here to this little cove, which really isn't that far, honestly. And there's like no trespassing signs all over it saying private water. So I guess some developer has moved in and bought the water somehow. Not quite sure how you can do that. But anyway, just going to throw my way back and go back to where I was sketching the striper at earlier. So that's what's up now. Alrighty. I have spotted some more striper. Looks like it. Let me see if I can dial them in here real quick. Oh, here we go. Come on, one of y'all take it. Come on. There we go. And that's awesome. There's like a school of them right there. Finally got one of them to hit it. They thumped our good too. Okay, hold on. Hang on, buddy. That's a little schooly size. Gray fish. Some colors. Thank you, man. I mean, y'all, this is crazy. Look at all these fish. Somebody eat my lure. I paid good money for it. Yep, come on, big boy. See you coming. Hit it. Oh, you want it? Like he's like, eh, I don't know. I'm literally trying every little wiggle and retrieve I can think of to get them to bite this thing. They are all just sitting and looking at it. You know, if I didn't have this, I wouldn't think there was any fish out here. It's what's crazy. I just know they don't like my bait. Well, folks, the time has come to call it a day. Um, it's not bad for a plan B trip, honestly. Got out here and caught some striper. I uh, got a good chance to play with my new uh, live scope some more, and I have to admit, I am truly impressed with what this thing can see. There are so many fish out here, and to be able to see the striper literally following my jig and groups of them swimming around and looking at it but not taking it a lot of today, unfortunately, flew me in that something was wrong, either the jig or the color, or they just weren't biting. I mean, who knows what it is? I don't know. I guess I'll just have to figure out what they actually want to eat. So if you got any input on that, please let me know. I tried every color of gulp that I had. I tried paddle tails, some Z-mans, even tried a real piece of shrimp. And the pink swim mullet gulp pretty much seemed to be what they went after the most. So anyway, that's enough yakking for one day. I'm gonna head on up here, call it a day. Peace, thanks for watching.